<laughs> we're all against the rape, okay? Just to be clear. So what I'm about to say is not an apologist for the, 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 the rapist, mm -hmm. like that man at Walmart. Right. Clearly guilty of rape, of course, as she insinuated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... What a way to introduce your view on this topic. That's Steven Crowder and company on his podcast, Louder with Crowder. It just descends into chaos. Let's watch some more. Understanding that rape is primarily uh, a, a, a crime of, I don't know, you're gonna say it's a crime of power. Okay, get it, whatever. Uh, it's primarily a crime of wanting to have sex with someone who doesn't wanna have sex with you, and so you have sex with them anyway. It's like if I said murdering someone is when you don't like when someone's alive, so you just make sure they don't live on. What soft language to describe a gruesome crime? Uh, this whole conversation is going to hell in a handbasket. Let's watch this last clip. Wouldn't it stand to reason that the victims of rape would usually, not always, generally be those who are most desirable sexually, considering the crime? Maybe like the fives to tens. I mean, like you don't carjack a 98 Oldsmobile. No. <laughs> and this, no. and it's no. always ladies like that who are claiming they're raped. I've searched, and I could be wrong about this. Mm -hmm. There are many, right? How many times have I been to a change my mind? It's always a blue haired, would be lesbian feminist who claim they're raped. As far as I know, not one Victoria's Secret model has been raped. To answer your question, Stephen, no, I really don't think that would stand to reason. We are gonna show more from that conversation in a bit, but Cenk, I wanna bring you in here. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, so first of all, there's two different things happening here. One is they're puffing their chest and to their uh, incel audience and saying, hey, look at us talking about rape in a slightly positive way. Uh, and and so they think that, oh, that shows how brave we are. Not really, it just shows that you guys are monsters and you're trying to create more monsters in the world. So it's not that complicated. And that's what the right wing grift is. Just who could be a bigger jerk? Like, oh yeah, I'll do a defensive rape. I'll be like, oh, right wing viewers are like, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, right? So that's obviously the main thing that's happening here. But but there's the secondary thing, which every right winger does. Now you'll see it uh, when I tell you about this. And we've shown you when Shapiro does it, Prager does it, etc. It's sleight of hand. And so they'll say something that their their audience will find reasonable, like, oh yeah, right, no Victoria's Secret model has been raped, and so that must mean that all the rapes are fake. Wait, or most are, or a lot of them are. Well, okay, first of all, none of that is true. First of all, have attractive women been raped? Of course, of course. What an insane proposition. But he says it, and every idiot that listens to him is like, oh yeah, pretty girls never been raped. Where the hell did you get that from? Okay, I mean, do I have to bother proving this? Harvey Weinstein raped gorgeous actresses, flat out raped them, right? But he posits that no, no pretty girl ever gets raped. What an, and then what an insult to rape victims. I mean, it's just so monstrous. It's monstrous on every level. Oh uh, yeah, it's, uh, who wants to do to rape a 98 year old, 98 Oldsmobile? Oh my God, it's like, Guys, it's not like ha ha he he, we're triggering people. It's so funny to encourage rape. Well, technically, I said I, I didn't say that I was in favor of it. I said that one instance there, this seems bad, but I mean, really, uh, it's just guys are attracted and the girls don't want it. So, so hey, that that's. But it's, and by the way, just to answer the question again, I mean, we're taking him too literally here because he's. Just trying to be evil, and and he knows that that's what gets him money. He gets paid to be immoral. That's it's that simple. But okay, literally, no. Generally speaking, rape happens like all other crimes, based on proximity, the people around you, right? So if someone is unstable, because there's not a lot of mentally healthy people that go around raping people. Okay, I mean, that'll probably be Crowder's next segment, right? But generally speaking. They're terrible criminals who do rape, right? And they don't sit there and go, hmm, where can I find a Victoria's Secret model? No, they have no impulse control, they have no morality, so they just attack the woman closest to them. That's generally how it works. 
I think it's weird he says uh, blue haired would be lesbians. What does that even mean? Is she no longer a lesbian because she has been raped? She still doesn't like you. That's such a weird thing, would be lesbian. In any case, I think Crowder should probably do a little bit of research before speaking on these topics. Let's watch this video. It's a Victoria's Secret model, Bridget Malcolm. By the age of 18, I had lived in three countries alone. I traveled to all continents except for Antarctica. I've been groomed by a much older man. I've been sexually assaulted multiple times. Oh, there it is. Makes sense. What happens next on the Louder with Crowder show is very interesting. Let's watch that. Maybe they were gonna be Victoria's Secret model and then- That's exactly it. And then the blue hair. Until someone lightly brushed their arm at Walmart. Yeah. And they gained 300 pounds because of it. Yep. That's yes. right. that's it's it. just, I'm just saying, it's always, it's always, and it's always a rape that's completely unverifiable. Right, yeah. And it's always used, uh, for example, to justify cutting in line. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break this down really quick. Advocacy organization Model Alliance is joining forces with Time's Up to take aim at Victoria's Secret, imploring the brand uh, to remedy the threat of sexual assault, alleged rape, and sex trafficking of models and aspiring models. Model Alliance makes mention of recent headlines regarding L Brand CEO Leslie Waxner's relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, who is accused of sex trafficking dozens of minors, as well as a number of allegations of sexual misconduct by Victoria's Secret photographers including Tamara Mech, David Belmere, and Greg Cadell. So because of them talking like this, uh, saying that, oh, well, well, maybe it's someone who would have been a Victoria's Secret model, they're actually describing reality there. Let's, let's watch this actual last clip here. Rapist, horrible, but if I'm a rapist, and again, I'm not a rapist, I'm anti-rape, but if you've crossed over you cross that threshold. You say, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to be a felon. I'm going to inflict violence upon a woman. I'm going to have sex with a woman who doesn't want to have sex with me back. So now the barrier to entry is removed. The woman doesn't want to have sex with you back. Wouldn't you pick the one you most want to have sex with? What really gets me here is, you know, we talked about this earlier, but I'm I'm against rape, but that's never going to go somewhere good. Yeah, that this the number of sentences started with I'm anti-rape, but. Uh, that ended well or zero, uh, and that includes that one. So the main thesis there in that portion of the clip is everyone who gets raped is ugly. Jesus Christ, man, that barrel has no bottom at all. And so look, what that really speaks poorly of is his audience more than anything else, because he thinks this is how we get paid. We make fun of rape. And we call rape victims ugly, and and then we all laugh about it and how they gained three hundred pounds and uh, and they're just looking to cut in line. That's why, yeah, because that's why you make up a thing about it, the most traumatic thing in your life, right? Just so you can cut it line at Walmart because it's just a gag to them. Ha ha ha! Isn't it funny when people get raped? Oh, they 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 weren't really raped anyway. They would be lesbians, right? So. Yeah, if you like Crowder, you're a disgusting human being who laughs at stuff like that. And then God knows what else you do. And that's really why we're in the current state we are with sexual assault in the country. So every year there are 463,000 people who get raped. Out of every 1,000 sexual assaults, 975 perpetrators will walk free. Out of every 100 robberies, 619 are reported to the police. Let's compare that to this statistic. Only 310 out of every 1,000 sexual assaults are reported to the police. That means more than two out of three go unreported. So in our country today, women are pretty much treated like objects by a lot of guys like Crowder and company. But now that they're not property, they're getting worse treatment than property. Robbery is a crime of theft where you steal property and the police are more carefully investigating those crimes than rape. To be fair to the police, it's not about the police investigating this case, it's about reporting. So why do people report rape, which is much more serious, less mm -hmm. than they report robbery? You know why? Because when you go to report a robbery, people don't go, "Oh yeah, I bet. But when you go to report a rape, that is the reaction of a lot of people. And look at what Crowder just did. Oh yeah, they say they got raped, but they're no Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> and that's why people don't come forward. Because of monsters among us who are right wingers, 
who then say, I don't believe you and I'm going to further shame you. I don't care about the criminal who actually did the rape. I care about shaming you because you're a woman. That's why mm -hmm. you get a reporting rate that is far lower than a simple robbery. Yeah, every year there are about 100,000 to 200,000 rape kits that just go untested. And even when women do report rapes, like Jenk said, you have a lot of people saying, oh, we're not gonna investigate it because there's not enough evidence. It's your word against theirs. Even in cases where there is ample evidence, oftentimes they don't result in a conviction and the person ends up walking scot-free. There are so many anecdotes of these things happening, and I'm not sure what it's gonna take for things to change, but Crowder certainly isn't helping. Yeah, and last thing is, guys, all those hundreds of thousands of rape kits that are untested, that's not an anecdote. That's the entire government saying, we don't care about women at all. We don't care if they're raped. Crowder, go out there and make fun of them. It's disgusting. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.